Assalamu alaikum, Yabi family. Assalamu alaikum. How are you guys doing, my family? Um, I miss you guys so much. And I miss updating you guys about everything that's happening. Which is a lot that's been happening. A lot, a lot of stuff I want to update you guys about. But um, right now, I'm just coming from picking up Muhammad from daycare and my husband is not feeling too well so he decided to go upstairs with the baby and right now i'm just gonna go out to get something that i'm kind of craving and i don't want to cook it myself because i feel like if i cook it i won't enjoy it so i'm gonna go buy it so that i could be able to enjoy it <laughs> sometime when you cook something you don't tend to enjoy it like if you go out to buy it you enjoy it more so that's how I'm feeling. And guys, a lot has been happening. Yes, a lot. A lot. With the little jabbies in Morocco. In, uh, right now, in Morocco, it's a big, it was not too long ago, September, last week, Friday. It was a big hurricane, uh, like earthquake over there. A big earthquake. And my children, at first, I didn't know because it happened during the Friday and I was at work. So when I came out on Saturday coming home, I was walking home and then I saw some group of kids and uh, you know before i used to always have my group of kids everywhere i go it will be group it won't be me alone so i kind of miss my kids i've been missing them a lot especially now back to school i miss them a lot so and i saw this man with his kids i was like oh hi um i'm always and i recognize him that every saturday he has he comes out with his children and get them like a donut and stuff and they go back home so i was i noticed that it always and i meet with them every saturday so i was like oh that's very nice i was like i used to do some things like that with my kids when they were here but they no longer here they're in uh morocco he was like oh morocco i said yes he's like i'm from there i said oh wow how nice is that and from there he was like have you heard what's been happening there there's a big earthquake that happened last night in morocco my heart jumped i was so scared i've never felt so scared in my life like the way i was scared i jumped out of the store i ran out and i ran to luckily i was with my husband because he came to pick me up from work that day and he was like, what happened? I was like, did you heard what happened in Morocco? He's like, yes, my mother told me this morning and not too long ago, she was explaining to him. I was like, well, you didn't tell me and she didn't call me. I was so scared. I'm like, how could you guys not tell me? He's like, and my husband's like, oh, you know, it's something that as a mother, you can't come right away and tell the uh, mother, especially how you are feeling right now with the, about the kids. So it's, he, he, he says he doesn't want to frighten me already. So I was like, what? You see, you, you guys didn't tell me. That's how you know how pure and, and, and everything I do, I go in with 100%. I don't do no, I come with somebody 100%. And somebody came and told me right away and I had no idea that's been happening. And it happened on the ninth before so on saturday i find out i was like oh my god you didn't tell me and he was able to explain to me what happened and i was calling his mother when i was in the store there i started calling his mother i started calling him i was calling her calling her calling her and then she asked uh when we were inside when i got inside the car she i called her again and then the kids the kids were like mommy we're fine it didn't happen here it happened in and what's their this other another city Mal Malakash 
Yes, it happened in Malakash and Rabah and Kaza. So luckily, it didn't hit phase like that. But all Morocco felt the shake of the earthquake, all of them. And I'm so, I felt devastated. Alhamdulillah, nothing happened to my children and nothing happened to their grandmother. They're all safe in the house, Alhamdulillah. But I make dua every day, may Allah protect that country because Morocco is not a rich country. And when I think about it, because when I went for a visit, there's a lot of poverty there and there's a lot of people who are suffering. So imagine the earthquake hit there, it's going to be more suffering. That's what I was kept thinking about. I'm like, oh my God. Yes, Africa, Africa is such a con continent that it's a big, rich continent. But I don't know, we are still struggling. The Arabic side the black africa is still struggling so when i think of that and when i thought about what i was experiencing when i went there you give them like one cent they'll be so happy and grateful and make so much dua for you you your whole mind would be blown off and that kind of gave me a sense of you know gratefulness of what i have now because not everybody is tend to have that so when i when the earthquake happened that's what i was thinking about i was very grateful alhamdulillah i make dua protection may allah protect all the families there and i feel so bad many family that lost their fam people that love their uh lost their family members their loved one it's really painful and when tragic like that happens in the in a place it it, it confuses people it makes people so confused and scared and you know it's a lot especially morocco is not a it's not like rich country when i think of it because when i was there it's a lot of poverty a lot of people struggling there so i was like wow imagine how they're gonna be so like all the stuff that's happening now and then they don't have money, the ple people are poor and the earthquake also happened. So I was watching the news and all the stuff. I was like, it really, really pained me. But I make dua, let's all make dua for the people and the families that lost their loved one. May Allah, um, may Allah give them peace of, uh, um, sense of peace. May Allah grant the disease May Allah grant the disease that's been lost in the earthquake, uh, highest in Narijana, and may Allah forgive them. It's uh, like, let's all pray and make dua for Morocco because they, they, they need it right now. This is the time to make dua. And if anybody, anywhere that you know that donates, please donate because it will be so helpful. Africa is a, such a rich country, but we need help. And it's it's just like i don't know when i think of it is it's just blow mind cuz i remember when i went there I, it's a lot of poverty a lot of people po like struggling a lot of families struggling so may allah make it easy for them may allah make it easy for them amina mariki allah ya ira sa ya fure mas mina ke bidin la gra na gi tragic we mi gi na kam birim bara e ta kam fam e ga fami bara be yi mari galaka bo sa fi mala ka limani ya si sun dunyima alaka alaka son ya rabi be maro kuma kini kini maro ki e makini kini no monyo na kenya ma nkele gna mun to kelna khalini sense di na fi ma e alama kandi manebe e dua ra bebe and it just like e bonye nan tu kimbelima ya fala eh mai ko abri di atambe itamba adi nara ko ni tamba bele bele nan nan to di e ga ko abri ma ko nga didam nara ba as 10 10 didam nara na ina to ta di gbele di nara di bele bele dunduru nti na kana tungu na kana so mere nde yira arabu gine na kan mato ani ana fa alma kan di groguru na ga mato eki Mamma, 
Maroki Torohi, Wom Fan Torohi de Pona Wona Maganda, la Afrique Birim Madi, la Afrique Bokui Birim Madi, a Makini Kini. Bon la nous manquons et en Amenikiana, et la situation en Amenikiana, et Tanyati Kini Kini Manima, mais Allah make it easy for them. Lastly, Alhamdulillah, the little Jabis are doing so good, they're doing so well in school, and they're still going, they're still back, they're back in school, continuing strong like usually. And Alhamdulillah, their tutors are coming every week, teaching them two, three times a week. And the, they go to the Arabic school, they're doing so well. And my children are changing to me, I believe. <laughs> When I talk to them on the phone, I feel like they are changing a bit because in the beginning, when I used to call, they used to run right away and then just pick up the phone and be like, mommy, mommy, and you know, update me about what's happening. But now I feel like people, they're much more lean back and wait for you to ask who you want to speak to and give chance to each other to speak. So I'm pretty much glad for that. And I'm so grateful you because... I can't believe it. They have such my supportive system. Alhamdulillah. I, I'm really, really grateful for it. I'm really grateful. And lastly, the last update I'm going to do, I have a requested video by my kids to make a video about the stuff I'm going to buy for them because we have a little trip. We can't hold it. We have to go visit them. I can't hold it. We can't help it. We have a big trip that we're going to. We can't hold it. I don't know. It's not easy. So my husband will be me. My husband and I are planning to visit Morocco. I can't wait already. I can't wait. I'm really happy because this back to school, I was feeling stressed. Because of the activities I'm used to, having my kids around, going to school shopping, I was feeling sad. I, and I saw kids, like their parents, like getting them. And uh, on Facebook, I see my friends and my sister's kids getting ready to go to school. I felt kind of sad. I felt really sad, actually. I'm not going to lie. I felt very sad. And when I saw my children pictures uh, of how they looked for back to school, I was like, oh, they look very nice. But I wish I was there because I don't know. I would give them some of my touch of clothing. So, but anyway, it's not too bad. I'm going to, I'm going to, I have a highly requested video from my kids that I'll be doing soon of the stuff that I bought for them for back to school. And the stuff will be taken with us to Morocco. So that's one little update that I have for you guys. Another update I have for you guys. And soon, um, just come along with me. I'm going to go right now get get my food. Because, baby, this girl got that cra I'm craving that Sharawa man. I, I, I don't know if I'm saying it right. <laughs> I think it's called... Sharwaman, correct me, comment down below how you say it so I could learn how to say it because I have my African accent is not as deep as American. So, and that word is it's not easy to pronounce for me. I don't know why. Anyway, I've been craving that and I have this store that I usually go. They put fries in it, chicken in it. Oh, name it, pepper. Let me put my seatbelt on so I could get ready to go. Okay, Gabby family, don't go nowhere. You know how your girl is. I'm here, glowing, looking beautiful. I miss you guys so much. And thank you for those that has not subscribed. Subscribe. Huh? You'll be missing out. Because this channel is not going nowhere, inshallah. It's not going anywhere. And we're going to grow to the place that we want, inshallah. We give it to all in the hand of Allah. So, salamu alaikum, Yabi family. Thank you so much for coming along. Subscribe, like, and comment. Bye-bye. Salamu -bye. alaikum, Yabi family. Salamu alaikum, my lovelies. How are you guys doing? Mo for me. Salamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you guys doing, Jabby family? This is the real Jabbies. Yeah! <laughs> Baby Mohammed.
ready to do that. Kapala, salamu alaikum. So guys, how are you guys doing, my lovely families? Right now, we are getting ready for another travel vlog. Yes. But, um, and we in the, we are going for our last minute, um, uh, run up to do some errands. Because, um, this is a highly requested video from the kids. The children telling me to get them like like snacks that they want they miss from here so it'll be nice of me to get some things like that for them like candies takis the Mexican spicy candies that they really really missed so that's where me and daddy Gabby is going right now to get it for them and um, something to keep you know to remind them of us again so that's where we're going right now we have some from there we'll be running back home and doing a last minute pack because tomorrow is the big day Ishanda and daddy Gabby here will be vlogging for me too you're gonna help me out yeah inshallah. so that's it he's gonna be able to help me out in my videos because it's gonna be a little different so Gabby family for those that has not subscribed subscribe we're all in this this is your family make sure and like the videos it'll be helpful so that's where we're on our way right now I'll get back to you guys in a few minutes so you can see the candies that the candies that uh, my children really really crave have been craving in Morocco and that's about it oh I forgot sorry about that we want to update you guys about the little hurricane earthquake that happened in Morocco. Uh, like half of your children, half of your families in a place where it's um, some things like that has happened. Like uh, what, like what's been happening in, um, in around the world is very scary. It's very scary and. When I when I heard and I uh, when I saw it on the news, what's been happening, I got so scared. I got so scared that day. But Alhamdulillah, when I reached out to the children, they was able to. They told me everything is fine. But this still felt felt the earthquake in the place we were living. So it was pretty much traumatic for them. But anyway, it's an experience. It's not like those families that lost their loved ones over there. May Allah look over them and the ones that stayed. May Allah make a uh, speedy recovery for them. It's very, it's a tra traumatic thing, especially when it happens. Stuff like that happened. I was telling the Yabi family, Morocco, uh, Maroc, it's a very, um, it's not a rich country in a way. So when. But it's, it's peaceful country. Yes, it's peaceful, yeah, yes. Peaceful country. And it, it's, the, it's, the, the, it's the kingdom kingdom country so they have a piece over there and uh, it's a uh, very nice yeah, place it's yeah, just place uh, to to grow up the kids yeah it's very nice place yeah when I mean by poverty like it's not it's African country so there's families are also like not are poor so it's very hard when they have to go through this tough time mm -hmm. and it's really sad and we pray to the Almighty to strengthen them and help them get back on their feet easily and make things much more easier for them, I mean. Yeah, so, so far, the little Jabis in Morocco are doing so good in school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're doing so well in school and I'm really happy for that because that's what, that's, that's what the main reason why this decision, this big move we do was for because we want to be able to provide a do for them now and instead of waiting till they like old enough and then later on want to express the um the quality of islam to them when they're old older and it's very hard and complicated and you don't have much to say to them so you don't want it to be that late so i'm pretty much glad that we're able to do it now so javis that's what it is right now. And baby Mohammed is back here. Papa? Mohammed? 
Aku dah salam walaikum jabi family. That's his salam alaikum. He's very happy. Such an energetic baby. And yeah. oh my God, Yavi family, this rain has been going on since yesterday, and it's still happening. Like <laughs> Mother Nature is wonderful, but it's not easy when you have children and you want to buy and go shopping. So. Strain has to go away. Oh, what do you mean? I see you now. Rain, rain, go away. The rain has to go away. It's getting annoying. And it's making people, me feel depressed and sad. I like rain, but when it's too much, it makes you feel sad. It's been raining for two days. Especially the way we're feeling. Let's go away now. Two days now. Atala ka nime mo kama dapat ni. Hindi. Ana ana kurung. E kolum e e kolum ay naka kurung. Ana fara uya ka fan na e fara ng ala. It's too much. It's too much. Yep. Non, je suis venu à la maison, je suis venu à la maison, je suis venu à la maison. Je suis venu à la maison, je suis venu à la maison. Je suis venu à la maison, je suis venu à la maison. Je suis venu à la maison, je suis venu à la maison. Je suis venu à la maison, je suis venu à la maison. Je suis venu à la maison, je suis venu à la maison. Je suis venu à la maison, je suis venu à la maison. Je suis venu à la maison, je suis venu à la maison. Je suis venu à la maison, je suis venu à la maison. Ninguém não ganha, tudo tudo ninguém não se quer ir para o rio, né? Vamos pular se me enfiar dentro lá. Ah, e ninguém não é que ele não é, ele não é aí, ele está no dia. Ah, this is the this is the powerful of Allah. The power of Allah. The power of Allah. Yeah, the creator. Ah, the creator of creation. Yeah. Look. How is the real in for me? It doesn't. It doesn't finish. It doesn't finish. Um. Yeah. Um. That's that's why we have to worship this Allah. Mm -hmm. You have, have to worship, worship Allah the Almighty. Mm -hmm. Because it's only one God. Yeah. Everything has Creator. So. Our Creator is the Almighty Allah. You have to know. You have to know Him. He's the Allah. He's the. He's the Allah. La ilaha wa iruhu. He's the Allah. You have to know that. Since, since yesterday, since yesterday, it's raining here. Since yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Allah, He, He doesn't care. Whatever He wants, He. That's what he's gonna do. Mm. Look what what happened in Morocco, and uh, after 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 that, look what happened in in, in Libya. Yeah. How many people died in Libya? I've heard. And I heard. Ele uh, Eleven, ta uh, twelve thousand something. Twelve thousand. Morocco. Katia Kirin. Katia Kirin. Morocco. Morocco. One, two thousand something. Man, say eleven, uh, twelve thousand. Katia Kirin. Oh. Give and send the fire building money. Katia Kirin building right. Yeah. Yeah. Once, one, 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 one CD. One CD, everybody left. One CD. And they are the water. The water. And they are registered. And the immigrant in an age, and they are so too many, like in a candy and a Malian din and a Risa greedy. Alimanis and a cartiacos. I'm called Nima registered. They are registered in an affair, in an affair for a very happy for a catch killing. You're fabulous. May Allah help us. Allah help us. May Allah make a um a primary angle. Allah have married God with God. Allah have a new son. Do you know? Married. So we're on our way home right now to to stop packing the stuff we bought, and then everything we're done.
We're done. And tomorrow morning, what time is the flight? It's it it it's forty, but I have to leave here to go because airport. You have you have to go early. You don't know what what's gonna happen on the street. That's true. Yeah, you have to go early. So probably eight. I'm gonna leave here four. Four. Inshallah. Four. Four three. Four or three. To be over there like uh, two uh, four uh, three hours before mm -hmm. the, the time. This man is number one of being on time for planes. <laughs> Yeah, because the plane, the plane, he doesn't, he doesn't wait for you. When he reach, when the time, the time come, he go. That's true. My English is not like that, you know. Stop when the time, that. When Your the English time is perfect. It's wonderful. The plane go, so you have to go and wait for, wait for the plane. Mm -hmm. The plane doesn't wait for you. <laughs> He's number one of being on time and Remember everything that. he does. So that's the, the thing. The, the man is uh, the the woman. The the man beat is time. You have to respect time. Uh, even Allah. Allah, the time is very very important in uh, 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 to Allah. That's why he said, "Inna salata kana ta'ala al mu'minin kitaban mawkuta." The time, the time. That's why if the times come. You don't you, you don't you don't you don't have wudu. You don't you don't find water and you do everything you didn't find water before the time goes. You have to take tayammum. That, that's why I mean the time is very very important mm -hmm. to Allah. Yeah. Very very important to Allah. Yeah. Yeah. Not just to us. Very very important. I'm to, even when the time to prayer. Yeah. It's definitely important to respect the time to pray. Yeah. Because it's everything you do, you have to follow along with the time. Timing. The time. Don't play with the time. But us women, sometimes we have to, we like to procrastinate. Don't women, play with the time. Man. Women like to enjoy and waste time sometimes. Not Don't all, waste time, but man. Some can. Don't waste time, man. Yeah, but I follow by here. <laughs> He started again. The Javi family. That's what we are right now. And I am not going to be able to go in this rain. I'm not cutting stuff because I did the shopping. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm going to go home to try to cook something. Woo! He went out the rain. So I'm gonna go home and start cooking something. Um, I have this little stew that I've been craving, so that's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna go and finish cooking that because I've started earlier, but I didn't finish because I got tired, but I'm gonna be able to finish it when I get home, inshallah. So, bye-bye. Peace always bye -bye. Fear no to now with the mic. Bandina, Bandina, and I love baby. I feel like it. Baby, I feel it. Now, for a walk, my friend, come on. Oh man, I'm dying. He likes messing with that guy. So, these are the stuff we bought for the kids. I'm gonna get to show you guys more of it when we get upstairs, okay? Fa pa pa I'm not gonna go. I'm 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 gonna go. i Sadness. Come, <laughs> oh. Come, you're gonna carry one, Papa? Ah. Who? Mm -hmm.
Okay. Okay. Carry some upstairs, okay? You gonna help mama? <laughs> so this is what we're gonna start with. We're officially home. This is what I'm gonna start. I'm not gonna use the spoon. Look at the baby. He has his own spoon. I don't look at it. Damn. I don't He wants to do everything himself. Boom. 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 <laughs> Mambo, so we're home now eating. I don't my God. Go eat, go eat, Daddy. Eat good, okay? Today's the day. Daddy, daddy, you do the job. Oh, my God. I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to Today's the day, today's the big day. I'm happy and I'm not happy. I'm happy and I'm not too excited. My babies, those people, they are leaving. They are the one traveling, not me. So I'm pretty much sad about that. I'm gonna miss them a lot. So, Yabi, how are we gonna go by this? Ah, uh, Salamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm taking this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking this guy tomorrow. So, he, wa he, wanna, he wanna go to see his brothers and his sister. He wanna go to see them and he gonna stay with, uh, with them for a few times. Yeah, for a while. For a while. Inshallah. Yeah, inshallah. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm outside now. Wow. So I'm waiting for my cup uh, to go to JFK. Yes, that's the airport that's close to us. Yes. Inshallah, we will be tomorrow. We will be, we'll, 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 we'll be in Morocco tomorrow, Bisha and Manna. Oh, but you have to promise uh, uh, promise the Javi family you're going to vlog. Yeah, inshallah, when I get there, over there, yeah, any, anything, we, anywhere we go, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take video, I'm no. going to do vlogs. Bring them along with you. Yeah, I'm going to... To I'm make gonna, them feel I'm like they are there. Vlogs. Because this is your family. Yeah. You like it or not, it's now your family. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do some vlog. But uh, any, any, anywhere we go, I'm gonna take some videos. You know. Yeah, I'm taking this guy over there. This man. This, this man, man. This man. He's ready now. You see, he's happy. He's very happy. Papa. Mohammed. Mohammed. Look at the camera. You happy, yeah. right? Say assalamu alaikum. Say assalamu alaikum. <laughs> he is so happy. Mm. 
Daddy. Oh man, these two is gonna go out through a whole lot of stuff in Daddy. that plane. Baby. Hello. Yeah, so my husband's having a little trouble of finding a person that's going to take them to the airport. But, um, and, eh, and we're trying to find somebody that's going to take him and be able to bring me back. Because I still want to vlog, I still want to go along with them. I didn't want to be alone at the house. At least follow them all the way to the airport and come back home. Hopefully, we find somebody. And it's stressful. I'm not even traveling, I'm stressed for him. So, Javi family, don't go nowhere. Come stay tuned. Don't go nowhere. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe, like, comment, and tell Mohammed and Daddy safe trip. And we'll see you very soon. Uh huh. Mohammed and Badi. Hi, Mohammed. <laughs> Yay. I'm about to leave them because I'm getting so tired. Yeah, we we had like long time. I'm waiting for my friend who's gonna take me to airport JFK. It's taking pretty much of a long time, so I'm getting tired. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna leave them down here. Hopefully, I didn't want to leave them, but we couldn't find somebody that will be able yeah, to drive yes, me yes, back. Yes, 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 so I'm gonna go home and sleep and relax myself. Yes, so Javi family. Daddy Jab is gonna take over for this few weeks. Like, actually, for a week. Yeah, she's gonna take over. But I know for sure, hopefully, he's gonna do the best he can to vlog. I will do the best I can. I will do my best for you guys. For your family, right? Yeah, for my family. But I need you guys to subscribe and like it, okay? <laughs> you remember? I thought he subscribe forgot. and like it. Okay? Yeah. And tell us safe trip to the Javi family. This baby, oh my God, is full of energy. Give daddy five. Give daddy five. We're worth five. Go. You yes. say bye to New York today. You say bye to New York. Okay, say bye. bye. Say bye to the park avenue. You okay?